Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the brand new Samsung One UI 2.0 versus the older version, the One UI 1.1 and 1.5. So let's see what changes have we received in this side-by-side -side comparison. Now let me quickly go to the settings. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what's happening over here. If I go to my about phone, now as you can see, if I go to the software information, uh, we have the One UI 2.0 and Android 10. Now this is gonna be on your smartphones very soon. Right now it's out on a beta. Now over here we have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10, all right? So if I go down here and if I go to the about phone, if I tap on the software information, you'll see it says One UI version 1.1 and Android 9. Now for Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, S10e, we have the One UI version 1.1. For the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, we have the One UI version 1.5. But just be aware that 1.1 and 1.5 with Android 9 are virtually identical. And then we have the 2.0 update that has the new features. That's gonna have the brand new features. So let's dive in and see what's happening. The very first thing that I do like to show you guys is something that I personally enjoy above others. And that's if you go to the settings. So if I go to the settings right over here, if I scroll down a little bit, if I go to device care, uh, as you can see, the look and the feel of the device care has changed from the 1.1 and 1.5 to the 2.0 with Android 10. So as you can see, it's got the same functionality, battery storage, memory security, battery storage, memory security, but they have a different look on the new interface that I happen to enjoy. If I go to the battery, tap on it, again, it's gonna look different. You have a couple new options here, such as a wireless power share feature, that allows you to limit the usage of the wireless power share. We don't have that over here. Uh, now, if I tap over here, I have a bunch of settings uh, that kind of look like this over here, uh, but they're a little bit different, okay? We also have more settings in here. Uh, if I go to the advanced, we have a bunch of settings. They have moved things around a little bit, but mostly we have the same functionality with different graphics. Now, if I were to go back over here uh, to the storage, again, you can see what's happening. Now, if I tap on clean now, we have a slightly different animation. So that's one of the differences. Again, I like stuff that's new. There's nothing wrong with this one, but there's something brand new. Just looks a little bit more uh, modernized, so it's a little bit better. So that's the device care. So if, again, if I go to the memory, we've got slight differences between the two. And of course, I want you guys to see exactly what's happening. So again, if I do a cleaning, look at that. Look at the way... Uh, things are a little bit different. This just, just looks a little bit more modernized. All right, so that's that. So that's the device scare, that's number one. The next thing is if we go into the display and if I scroll down over to the navigation bar, right over here, navigation bar, under display, mostly they are the same. We have navigation buttons, which I'm using right here. We also have navigation buttons. Then we have the full screen gestures. But on the One UI 2.0, if I click this, I'm actually able to go into more options, which we don't have here. And at the bottom, I have a couple more extra options. So if I click on more options, now I have the Android 10 version of swipe from bottom, okay? So let me go back here, allow the gesture hint so you can see the difference. So as you can see here, we have three lines. Here we have one line. If I want to, I can go for the three line version, which basically takes you home, brings up the multitasking pane, just like this one, okay? So nothing is being lost, but more has been added. But now I can go with this one, and I only get one line, and I can do everything from that one button. Bring, the, bring it up, okay? And to go back, I just swipe over here. With this one, to go back, I have to swipe like this, okay? So that's one more new thing in navigation, you get extra options with the full screen gestures. The next great thing is the animation. So let's go home, watch the way everything just happens. So let me launch the phone application. So we have basic animations right here. Let's just launch the, uh, the message application right here. Again, basic applications, basic animations. Watch the way it comes up, watch the way it goes back. Okay, so look at that. Now look at this one. When you tap on this one, it expands nice and slow and also it goes down nice and slow. Again, with the messages, boom, all right? So you can see the difference between the two uh, animations. One more thing we have is when I have this up and I have the full screen gestures enabled, 
I can swipe between applications just like this, all right? So that's one UI 2.0. On this one, I can't do that. I have to do it this way. It kind of works, but it's not as cool as this one. It just goes side to side, all right? Another thing we have is when I pinch the screen, you'll notice we have slightly different icons here at the bottom. When I tap on the wallpapers, this goes straight to the Galaxy Themes homepage, and then I can access my wallpapers from here. But with this one, if I tap it, I actually get a preview of my lock screen and the home screen, and then I can go to my wallpapers. It'll take me to this, this section right here, okay? Or I can simply go into Explore More Wallpapers, and that's gonna take me to the same screen right over here. So that's another difference in regards to that. And one more quick thing, if I tap on these multitasking panes, look at that. If I go to the edge to edge, there's no bouncing effect with this one. You get a little bouncing effect, which is great, all right? Okay, let's uh, close all this up. Let's close this up too. All right. We also have a brand new way to access the one-handed mode. So first, I'm gonna go to display. I'm gonna go down to navigation bar, okay? I'm just gonna go to the button view real quick. Let's go to the button view now. So they both look the same. Now I'm going to go to advanced features right here. Uh, again, advanced features. And what we have here now is, you know, we have all the link to windows features on both. That's not a big deal. But if you scroll down, if I go to motions and gestures here, I have the one handed mode with this one, I scroll down and the one handed mode is going to be right here in the beginning. And if I tap it, now what we have is we have much easier ways to activate the one-handed mode. So with this one, I have to triple tap the home button to activate the one-handed mode, all right? And then with this one, if I choose the button view, I can just double tap and boom, we're good to go. Uh, they have made it easier. Then we can go to the gesture uh, view. With this one, I like it. You just swipe down just like this, boom, activates. With this one, you would have to swipe from the corner to activate that. So I like this much better, so much easier to activate, okay? So easier ways to activate one-handed mode. So those are some of the differences. Let's find even more. Also, if you go to the settings, let's go to the settings real quick. Let's go into the digital well-being. So I'm gonna go right here. And with this one, I'm gonna go right here. Now what we have is, again, we have a different look and we have the focus mode and we have the parental controls. With this one, we only have this top portion, okay? Uh, looks a little bit different, same thing, but with this one, we have the focus mode and we have the parental controls. And focus mode, basically, if you activate this, it allows you to block certain applications on your phone so you don't get distracted, all right? Uh, focus mode can also be enabled uh, right from here. We have the focus mode option, if you tap on it, It'll take you to the focus, tome, uh, focus mode. You can do me time or work time. This one does not have the focus mode or the parental uh, controls at the bottom that allows you to, if you are a parent, uh, control your kid's behavior. Now, one more thing that's important is the camera application. So let's go to the camera application. We have this one and this one. Now, I can swipe between the modes but as you can see, all the modes here are, they're just too many. You got the food, night, panorama, whatever. So you have to scroll through all of these guys. With this one, you get to put what's important for you right here. So you can have four of these and everything gets, uh, else gets bundled under the more option. So you go to more, instead of having this just like this at the bottom, uh, you only have four modes in, highlighted for you, which can, which can be edited by the way but then you have to go to more to access all the settings. And again, you can click on edit and modify this the way you want. On top of that, if I zoom in and zoom out with this one, take a look, that's the zoom in and zoom out options. No, not this one, I'm sorry. Let's go to the photo. So that's the zoom in and zoom out. So you can do it pinch in, pinch out. With this one, when you pinch in, you actually get a, oops, you actually get a uh, quick toggle at the bottom. I can go 10 times, all right? I can go to two times, or I can go to one time. So with this one, you don't get those buttons. With this one, uh, you get the buttons at the bottom. Let's see, let's, I didn't pitch it the right way. So look at that. So I can go to 10 times immediately, all right? And of course, we have an enhancement to the dark mode. Let's go to the settings, go to the display. 
Let's go into the night mode. I keep calling this one says night mode. This one says dark mode, okay? Now when I enable this one, everything goes black and white mostly, but when I go back out, the background wallpaper is still pronounced, okay? So it doesn't darken, it is still uh, bright. With this one, when I enable the turn on this, and if I go back out, uh, the widgets change color and also the background wallpaper actually darkens up a little bit. So it's easier on the eyes, which makes sense because it's supposed to be the dark mode. So night mode has become dark mode with a slight enhancements on this one. Now one more thing, if I go to my files uh, application right over here, my files application, let's tap on this one. Uh, Basically what I have, if I tap on this one, I don't have the trash option, but with this one, I now have the trash option. So if I delete something by mistake on my phone uh, from the My Files application, I can go to the trash and restore that file. With this one, if I delete this, for example, let me just press and hold. Let me just uh, delete this. Now that file is gone, okay? So I cannot go to the trash and my, uh, restore it. With this one, if I go to images, if I delete the screenshot right here, Let's just delete that. I can now go back into the trash and restore that thing. I can tap on edit, tap on these, and I can tap on restore. Whatever I delete, it goes right back. So that's it. That's basically all the differences between the One UI 1.1, 1.5 versus One UI 2.0 with Android 10, Android 9. All right, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know for now, guys. Have a fantastic day. If you have any more requests for videos, let me know uh, based on the One UI 2.0 and I'll make it for you. All right.